I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll share with you the concept of completing squares which I actually learned after graduation. Now here the question is how can you solve quadratic equation x square plus 10x plus 5 equals to 0. So let's take a simple quadratic equation try to solve it. We have learned this completing the squares and we know we can use completing the squares to solve this we can use quadratic formula also to solve this. But we'll start from very basic to understand the most important concept, right? So initially, when you start solving such an equation, let me write down here, it is x squared plus 10x uh, plus 5 equals to 0. Then uh, what we do is we say, okay, these are the x terms. Let's keep the variables on the left side. So we have x squared plus 10x equals to minus 5. Now the difficulty is that we have these two x's. Now even if I factor one of them I get x plus 10 equals to minus 5. It kind of becomes very difficult to solve such an equation. I know some of you can definitely use uh, completing the squares method or the formula to straight away get the answer. What I'm sharing here is that I've been doing the same thing but I never understood why and how I was getting the answer. Now here is kind of insight which I learned about it uh, which I am sharing with you also. Now here when we say x square plus 10x equals to minus 5 let me make a square which represents x square. So this is my for example square which represents x square. So I'll write down x square inside so that is my first term. Now we have 10x 10x, uh, when I say this is x square, that really means that each side is x units, correct? So this is x, x times x gives me area of x square. 10x, I could say a rectangle whose, uh, let's say with this x and uh, let us say this number 5 is represented by here. So, so if I say this is 5, then and then if I make a rectangle, kind of, uh, let me just make one rectangle here, then that becomes 5x, and I can have x this side and uh, 5 this side. Then what I get here is another rectangle, oh, which I'm saying this is 5, correct? Now, the area of these two rectangles will be 5x and 5x. Combined together makes it 10x. So I kind of get a shape which you can see and it looks like a square, isn't it? We can complete the square. How? By adding a piece at this corner and the dimensions of this piece will be 5 and 5. Do you see that? So if I add this piece which is 5 times 5 or 5 square, I complete my square. That is the concept. Now, let's get back to the equation. The equation for us is x square plus 10x equals to minus 5. So, to complete the square, what we really do is we add this piece whose area is 5 times 5, 25. So, this area is 25 correct 5 times 5 so let me add 25 on both the sides do you see that now these three terms become perfect square it could be written as as you can see each side is x plus 5 for this square right so each side is x plus 5 so the area of the square basically is x plus 5 whole square, right? So I could write the left side as x plus 5 whole square and the right side is minus 5 plus 25 which is 20. You get the idea, right? So that is how we actually complete the square. So what you notice here is that for completing square I added and subtracted a term which was half of 10. So what I added and subtracted was half of 10, 5, 
squared. You see that? And that is how you get half of 10. So I split this 10 into 5 and 5, two portions. That is the concept of adding and subtracting half of this number, which is coefficient of x squared, right? So you add on both sides, or you can say add and subtract on one side. Once you get this kind of an equation, now you have only one x. Do you see that? Now we can do square root on both sides and solve. So taking square roots, we get what? We get x plus 5 equals to square root of 20. Now whenever you do square root, you have to write plus and minus. Since you know both negative and positive when squared will give you positive, right? So that is how it is. And rearranging, we get two solutions for this, right? So we could write, we can write square root of 20 also as 20 is uh, like 4 times 5. Square root of 4 is 2. So we could write this as 2 square root 5. If you want to write answer in exact values, that is the value which you are going to take. Now, x plus 5 is equal to plus minus 2 square root 5. That means x is equal to two values. It could be either minus 5, when I take y on this side, plus 2 square root 5, or it could be minus 5 minus 2 square root 5. So that is the exact solution, correct? If you want to write solution in decimal places, you need to calculate using the calculator. So we can do 2 times square root 5 is equal to, oh, we can do, we'll do decimals later, or we can say decimals minus 5, right? So that gives you in decimals minus 0 0.527. So, so here we get minus 0 0.527. Now this could be rounded to, let us say, two decimal places as minus 0 0.5. Three, right anyway this is also approximate so let's calculate the other root also both are negative so we'll do 2 square root 5 equals to and we'll add them and take minus sign later right and then we'll do in decimals is 9.472 with a negative sign of course so minus 9.472 which could be approximated as minus 9 point, I should say, 47, we are doing two decimal places, correct. So for two decimal places, it would be minus 9.47, correct. So there, this has to be negative. I just did negative. When I use calculator, I did negative outside kind of, made it negative later, plus 2 square root 5. That's how I got this answer, using calculator. And anyway... So what I'm trying to say here is that there are quadratic equations which cannot be directly solved. We may have to complete the squares. The concept of completing the squares is kind of like this. So x squared is that area, 10x. Half of this is 5x, so you make two rectangles on either side. The space left will be square of half of this. That term is added on both the sides to solve after completing the squares as discussed in this video. We'll take one more video on this and then some practice questions for you to do. I hope you understand and appreciate the whole concept. Thank you and all the best.